Last time I was in Manchester asking Manchester City fans to tell me all about how horrible it is supporting a decent football team. Now I'm taking my cynicism on tour. What the Man City fans are just learning, supporters elsewhere in Europe have known for a long time. For City, all of this is fairly new and fairly exciting. There are other clubs in Europe on whom success has taken a far greater toll. If the City fans need any tips on how to cope with their club's success, there's no group of supporters better placed to offer advice than the fans of Bayern Munich. So, with that being the case, we're here in Munich to meet a few. It's a Bayern <laughs> Last season, Bayern Munich made it to the Champions League semi-final, the final of the German Cup, and of course, won the Bundesliga. But for them, that feels like a fairly unsuccessful, a disappointing campaign. How do you reach a situation where so many achievements add up to so little? Well, Bayern have been the kings of German football for a long, long time. They've been at the top of the Bundesliga for decades, winning more titles and achieving more international success than any other German club. The more you have of something, the less special it feels. But more of that in a bit. Let's start with another domestic downside to all of that glory. The most successful club in Germany is also the most hated. The fans have long had a reputation as glory hunters who can't be counted on to stick around if their team ever loses. It's a soccer club like with a lot of money mm -hmm. and, and a lot of uh, success. So that's why it attracts people there. Um, attracted by the success and all the, the cups and all the wins. Yeah. So that's why the, the, the image is like, um, we call it a Volksfan. There are vielleicht viele uh, möchte gern uh, fans dabei, die, die zum Bayern wechseln, weil sie wissen, dass wir immer wieder mal Deutscher Meister werden. Manche sind Fan vom FC Bayern, weil da eigentlich der Erfolg garantiert ist. Da wird man halt Deutscher Meister meistens. Und, yeah. People say it's easy to be a Bayern fan and that you're like not a real fan and a lot of people switch clubs and come to Bayern Munich because they're so successful. Come to Bayern, see your team win, week in, week out. Sound fun? For 34 games a season in the Bundesliga, Bayern go in expecting to win. There aren't many sides against whom the Bayern fans can ever expect to taste something the rest of us all know so well, namely defeat. Well, maybe it does sound all right but it certainly makes it hit a little harder if you do ever end up losing. If Bayern loses a game in Bundesliga, it's like, why do we lose it? Or like, oh, look at them, it's a good big in the press. Oh, they lost the game. And on top of that, I've got a fairly strong suspicion that only ever winning makes winning taste a little less sweet. It's nice to win the league and to be like, yeah, Bayern Munich. Weil man immer nur gewinnt und halt immer überlegen ist, das ist natürlich toll, aber wenn, wenn man gleichwertige Gegner hat, dann ist natürlich das Kräftemessen viel besser. I would want them to win the league in the future too, but it would be nice to have a bit more competition. This is the feeling usually a football or soccer fan like has when he goes to the game. You can lose it every day. And you lose that feeling as a Bayern Munich fan, kind of. It's hard to see how you wouldn't lose that feeling. Last season was Bayern's sixth title in a row. The Bundesliga has become a boring competition, even for the winners. Yeah, OK, another one, another one, seventh in a row. It's always this thema, it's just all so langweilig, and the FC Bayern macht alles kaputt and so. Yeah, for me, it's a shame. Now it's just, it's really hard to look. Like, even Dortmund doesn't really make a good opponent now. Look, when Klopp was at Borussia Dortmund a few years ago before they let him go. Um, the league was really interesting. I hope they come back stronger and then it's getting a bit more interesting. We have like real competition. We can't be ashamed for good leistungen Samstag for Samstag. Oh, that's, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, that we're so strong. Uh. FC Bayern is deeply rooted in Munich and embodies Bavarian regional pride but is simultaneously a global brand with millions of enthusiastic followers all around the world. And that means that on match days, the Allianz Arena is as much a tourist destination as it is a football stadium. 
which in turn means that rowdy atmospheres at the Allianz Arena can be fairly hard to find, despite every effort of the old guard and the ultras. Ja, wir hoffen, dass heute die Arena fliegt. Ja. <lacht> ist in München nicht so oft. Erstens ist das Stadion recht groß. Dann gibt es viele Dauerkartenbesitzer, Logen, Plätze, Fans, äh, halt, äh, Sponsorentickets. Die kommen halt mal und sind dann zwar dabei, aber halt nicht so dabei wie der Südkurven-Fan zum Beispiel. Wenn wir zum Beispiel große Siege fahren wie gegen Dortmund, dann äh, gehen die nach Hause. Als wäre als wär nichts gewesen. That's for me not real fans. They don't appreciate it that they are able to watch a game like that. Da, da muss was gehen, ne? da, da muss da was passieren jetzt. Ja? Okay. Wir haben doch ein Spiel gewonnen. Wir können doch nicht einfach heim nach Hause gehen, als ob wir von der Kneipe nach Hause gehen und sagen, war schönen Abend. It's not just the tourists who are responsible for the suffering atmosphere. The locals, after all, are always here. But for Bayern, glory has become boring. It's no wonder the atmosphere has followed suit. For Bayern, anything less than utter domination is an underachievement. So maybe the fans have just had it too good for too long. It's so sad actually, because if you just win, just win the championship, it's here like, okay, um, next next thing, like it's really don't, some people don't care because it's almost every year. I think we do, we won it like four times in a row now. Six. Some, six, oh, okay, see, see. But in Munich, it's the only thing is at least a double, so the cup, and the, um, the championship and the triplets. I think the only thing where the people really get crazy. <laughs> the triple. The triple. <laughs> no, I mean, winning the league is, I think, settled. If you don't win the league, it's something major already. So that's something going wrong in the club. Um, the jubel is always nice, but I mean, triple would be even better. For so many other teams like Schalke or other state, it would mean so everything like they would they would I don't know celebrate for 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 months. And it's been like this here for a while. Hard to imagine for most of us. Maybe even for our friends from Manchester. Whereas Manchester City's success is a fairly recent development, Bayern Munich have been so successful for such a long time that for the fans being the best by miles has become the new normal. That's not all that sets Bayern apart. The club's incredible story is embodied in the story of these two men. Uli Hoeneß and Karl-Heinz Rummenigge. Today, Bayern Munich's bosses. Previously, though, they're star strikers. Two German internationals who both won plenty of trophies on the pitch as well as off it. They might not be loved outside Munich, but round here, they run the show in the name, of course, of the fans. Das ist doch unglaublich. Was glaubt ihr eigentlich, was wir das ganze Jahr über machen, damit wir euch für 7 Euro in die Südkurve gehen lassen können? Ja, was glaubt ihr eigentlich? Wer, wer euch alle finanziert, die Leute in den Logen, denn wir die Gelder aus der Tasche ziehen. That sets Bayern apart from other rich clubs. These two built their success from the ground up. They just have it through their success and not through being bought and given money to. So, I mean, Manchester City can any, buy any player who they like and then have the best players in the world and then win everything, of course. But there's also like clubs like Bayern Munich. In the Bundesliga, there's like another thing is like this, this 50 plus one uh, rule that says that it's not allowed, like especially for Russians or for from Far East, uh, people who have really money to buy a club. But a success is not buyable, we say in Germany, like, thank God. You had to work hard for it, not just being given to. And everything you had to work hard for uh, is, in my eyes, worth more than just being given to. Nowadays, working hard means promoting the club in China or the USA. Send the players on global PR tours, whether they like it or not, sell a few shirts, and keep up the idea that these customers abroad are just the same as the fans at home. They had to do this, maybe to get, generate more money. I think it's just part of the business. I don't appreciate it or, or really say it's really necessary, but I think it has to be. Sich ausweiten, das gehört halt dazu, aber es muss einfach im Rahmen bleiben, auch für die deutschen oder bayerischen Fans, weil das sind ja eigentlich die, die immer kommen. Dass es schon viele Überlegungen gibt, dass man mal den Pokal in Asien macht, oder sonst was, das, das ist dann natürlich ein totaler Schmarrn. Also es gehört alles dann trotzdem noch hierher. It's not football anymore, like I used to know it. 
It's it's just um, yeah, it's getting more and more a money business just to 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 compete with others. That's the that's the only thing like it really it's a sad part, but it's it's part of the thing like. In truth, against that background, the resilience and diversity of Bayern's hardcore fan culture is worth celebrating. They do have um, also uh, a huge fan base. They do have really fun culture. And das sind die Leute, die solche Kunden tragen. Das ist Kult. Wir machen aus jedem Sieg machen wir ein Fest und eine Party draus. Also so ist. I'm beginning to feel less blessed that I never have to live with success. But either way, in the end, we all suffer the same. Modern football takes its toll all over. And we all have our own cross to bear. With den Erfolgen muss man dann auch leben. Mit dem lebt man natürlich gar nicht, aber der lebt schon gern mit Niederlagen. Turns out there's a lot that we can all put up with. Success or struggle, boredom or misery, everyone in the end finds a way to cope.